a successful entrepreneur isn't easy, but sometimes all it takes is just one great idea. Bill Boeing's first great idea wasn't airplanes. He had set out to make his fortune in the timber business, but while operating his Greenwood Timber Company, Boeing became interested in aviation. And after finally hitching a flight, Boeing immediately decided he could build a better airplane and use his own timber doing it. What would happen next officially started on July 15, 1916. From the Boeing archives, the original Articles of Incorporation gave birth to Pacific Aero Products, the startup that would eventually become the Boeing Company. The founders, Bill Boeing, his cousin Edward Gott, and chief engineer James Foley, created their little Seattle company to, as the articles lay out, engage in general manufacturing business for goods, wares, and merchandise of every kind and in any way used in the construction or operation of aeroplanes. And they meant wares of every kind and used in any way. In addition to the stated goals of building and selling airplanes, establishing a flight school, and developing aerial navigation systems, the articles gave runway to buy and sell steamboats and other ships, operate railways and utilities, improve lands and develop resources. That foresight to include non-aviation industries would serve Boeing well. When defense contracts dried up after the First World War, Boeing kept his employees busy building furniture, sea sleds, and fixtures for a corset company. The airplane side of the business eventually returned to profitability, and from the seedling of that one great idea grew a century of aviation and aerospace innovations.